going to do it and do it and do it, even if you're terrified and just paralyzed and having an out-of-body experience until you have this moment where you say, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Like, I have become this. I am actually doing this. So that's what I did. Five years in grad school. A few years, you know, I'm at Northwestern. I moved to Harvard. I'm at Harvard. I'm not really thinking about it anymore, but for a long time I had been thinking, not supposed to be here, not supposed to be here. So the end of my first year at Harvard, um, a student who had not talked in class the entire semester, who I had said, look, you've got to participate or else you're going to fail, came into my office. I really didn't know her at all. And she said, she came in totally defeated, and she said, I'm not supposed to be here. And that was the moment for me, because two things happened. One was that I realized, oh my gosh, I don't feel like that anymore, <laughs> you know? I don't feel that anymore, but she does, and I get that feeling. And the second was, she is supposed to be here. Like, she can fake it, she can become it. So I was like, yes, you are. You are supposed to be here, and tomorrow you're going to fake it, you're going to make yourself powerful, <laughs> and, you know, you're going <laughs> to... And... You're going, to go, you're going to go into the classroom, and you are going to give the best comment ever, you know? And she gave the best comment ever. And people turned around, and they were like, oh my god, I didn't even notice her sitting there, you know? She comes back to me months later, and I realized that she had not just faked it till she made it, she had actually faked it till she became it. So she had changed. Um, and so I, I, I want to say to you, don't fake it till you make it. Fake it till you become it. You know, it's not do it enough until you actually become it and internalize. The last thing I want to leave you with is this. Tiny tweaks can lead to big changes. So this is two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Before you go into the next stressful evaluative situation, for two minutes, try doing this in the elevator, in a bathroom stall, at your desk behind closed doors. That's what you want to do. Get, configure your brain to cope the best in that situation. Get your testosterone up. Get your cortisol down. Don't leave that situation feeling like, oh, I didn't show them who I am. Leave that situation feeling like, oh, I really feel like I got to say who I am and show who I am. So I want to ask you first, you know, both to try power posing and also I want to ask you to share this science, because this is simple. I don't have ego involved in this. <laughs> Give it away. Like, share it with people, because the people who can use it the most are the ones with no resources and no technology and no status and no power. Give it to them, because they can do it in private. They need their bodies, privacy, and two minutes, and it can significantly change the outcomes of their life. Thank you.